Jimmy doing? Oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> James Storm ducks. What is going on here, folks? Oh, I love it. Let's do it. Do Let's it. Do it. Into the cage. <laughs> Jimmy Blaylock goes face first. <laughs> Into the I celebration kick, last call super kick, and that is it. We've got a winner. Here is your winner, Cowboy James Storm. Is your winner the Cowboy James Storm? Wait, it looks like oh wait, 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 he's not yeah, done yet. <laughs> One more time. Going again. Yes. Face it to the kick. Once it. again. I love it. He's no, going after security. Secret Service. <laughs> the wheels have blown off. This is great. Time to make the world recognize we ain't playing, yo. Off the top, smashing folk. Hitting with the gun show. Everybody gon' flip. And that's off the rip. We are Memphis Wrestling. Now you know who you messing with. Five star, that's the name. Maria's here to change the game. M dub on my chest. Got me slamming all you lame. You ain't know you messing with the real dealer. From the super kicking body slamming show stealer. Started out in the M Memphis, Tennessee. Watching wrestling every Saturday on TV. It's only the beginning. Now it's time to play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Memphis Wrestling. I am Dustin Starr alongside Terrence Ward, and we're back for another action-packed episode. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, Super Bound 3 is still being talked about. Two weeks later, the effects, just as I stated on those episodes, are being felt today. They're going to continue to be felt throughout the next coming weeks, and even possibly in the next year. The new champion, K2, where I am still just so thrilled to see an opportunity like that happen. But the gun show wasn't mentally prepared for his fight with Tumor because he was looking at facing the monster's atrocity. Cool. Show up, and you mentioned in the gun show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the gun show. Let them see it, Dustin. Let them see it. Boom! More than what I can do. <laughs> and introducing next, his opponent from Game City, Tennessee, the gun show. He is back. The gun show in one-on-one -on -one action, and I'll tell you, we told the gun show that he did not need to compete here today. He's still not 100%, but the gun show insisted in getting back on the bicycle, so to speak, getting back in the ring, and trying to get another victory under his belt. One on one, the gun show, head up with Draco from the last Saturday. Dustin, you know better than anybody, as a former two-time Mr. Tennessee, the preparation that it takes to win a title, to win a championship. Of course, that's not the only thing that you've won. You've won many of your own titles in, in the Mid-South, across the country. Two-time Mr. Tennessee, by the way, and just eh, not bragging, but I said that, but throw that in there. You know, I, I messed it up one time. Bell rings and never we let me do it again. are underway. Yes, you talk about that preparation. It is hard to prepare 100% when your body is not 100%. So let's see what the gun show has here today. Kicking off Memphis Wrestling against Draco. But you know, it's got to be going through his head. If, if you look at the age difference between the gun show and Draco, if the gun show takes the needed time off to fully recover. To get 100%. Exactly. He's going to fall by the wayside for guys like Gio and Draco. More younger than he is that are buying their way up the ladder in singles and tag team competition sure to secure a title. Draco's Ooh. doing here, but literally walking the top rope. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, rookie mistake. Yeah, definitely a rookie mistake here. You never turn your back on the gun show, especially when he's not in the best of moods. You Big Spine Buster! Bye-bye, Draco. In Wait a minute. second, Gio hopping up on the apron. Gun show's got him, too. But oh. here comes Gio, or Draco, excuse me. Two on one out here. A little bit of an unfair advantage, but Draco, Draco using it to his advantage. It's over. Oh, oh God. my gosh. Gun show lariat absolutely stops 
Let's, Draco let's mid -air. talk about that, that veteran. That's what, what I was about to say is that veteran experience. He waited to hit him with that lariat while he was in the air for maximum effect. Picking Draco up. Gun show lariat. Ooh, just God, decapitated Kevin. Draco. And that is it. Count to a million. It is over. Here is your winner, the Gun Show. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay brought to you by Kapow Comics in Sherwood, Arkansas. 501-834-5769. The Gun Show Lariat is Kapow. Congratulations on the big victory, Gun Show. And I know you've got a lot to say. And it's the first time we've heard from you since Super Bout and since the big showdown with the Cobra Cup winner, the Big Bane, and the new Memphis Heritage Champion, Kate Toomer. You know, I gotta give it to the Big Bane. He played his cards right, and he got the job done, sure enough. But I tell you what, I like wearing gold, but I don't have to have gold. But we're about, I don't know, maybe at a fork in the road to where we got to figure out just what the gun. Wait just a second, Gun Show, my apologies. It seems like we've got a disturbance. And here comes Reverend Ash Taylor. Again, I'm sorry, this is unplanned. Reverend Ash Taylor. I'm not gonna say what they're calling you, but what the heck are you doing out here? First off, Mr. Starr, if you and all of these sinners could be quiet for a moment, I've got something I need to say. Gun Show, you say you're at a fork in the road. You've been living life on the wrong side of that river. Ignore them. What I'm gonna give you today is an opportunity. What I'm gonna give you is a chance to pick the right path, the righteous path. Think about it. A chance. Gun Show says not a chance, man. More of Memphis Wrestling when we return. Stay with us. The new $1.99 Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps are here for a limited time in bold flavors like Hickory Barbecue or Cheesy Baja. Give yourself some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is WWE WrestleMania. Join us, it's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis.
and introducing next, his opponent, the chosen one, Say Washington. Say Washington squaring off against Geo Savage, and Geo has not had the best day so far. Hopefully, it'll get a little bit better for him, unless you're a fan of Zay Washington, who had one heck of a super bout himself. Super bout battle royal squaring off with GCW world champion Blake Christian. Now he's here going one-on-one -on -one with Geo Savage. I don't know if you heard that uh, forearm. Oh, Good God. What in the hell do you call that move, Terrence? Just I call, make something up. I call that revenge. I mean, after what we just saw transpire with the gun show, Geo's going to be taking his frustration out on Zay Washington, and Zay's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Big chop. Going for another one. Oh, wait, Zay wait. Washington just looking at him. Oh, oh God in heaven. My goodness. He just chopped both nipples off into the front row. God almighty. And Gio is out here all by himself. You saw what happened to Draco in the early going. I don't think there's a cream for the gun show. I don't think there's a cream from Munford Pharmacy that can help with that sting. That's a two count near fall. If I was Geo Savage, I would not have kicked out. Yeah. Don't ever slap me that hard. Now Zay Washington's <laughs> scale in the top row, possibly going after that 450, but he's met by Geo Savage's right hand. Well, Zay Washington likes to operate in the air. Has to have an FAA clearance half the time he's here at the Wrestle Center. That's his safe space, but Geo. This is definitely high risk. Could be high reward for Geo Savage, but it looks like Zay Washington is fighting out of it. Yeah, this is not Geo's specialty, these high risk maneuvers, but for Zay. Nice duck and a counter. Big oh. power slam, down goes Geo Savage. You'll see that every day. Fans, a big reminder that next weekend is WrestleMania weekend. You can watch absolutely oh. free with us at Dave and Buster's. What a kick. And oh a kick out. Gosh. I thought Zay Washington picked up the victory. Let's take a look back, instant replay, that kick out really quickly, or that, excuse me, getting that shoulder up. That was very, very close. Referee taking his time there to, to Pay close attention as he was making that count. And can show up the in the eyes that time. Oh, right in front of that. referee Ron Justice. Now what is this? Geo perching Zay Washington on the top rope. I don't know if I would do that because of Zay Washington's aerial offense. Uh, it's like I just mentioned a second ago, but Geo, it could pay off. Another big slap right to the chest, and down goes Geo. Oh, Say Washington in the drop zone. What a 450! And that is it! Here is your winner, Say Washington! Let's take a look back at the instant replay brought to you by Dave and Busters. Watch WrestleMania with us absolutely free. Night one and two, next Saturday and Sunday. Plus, I'll give you a free power card. What a 450 splash from Zay Washington. And that is for the victory. Welcome back to the broadcast position. What a way to kick off Memphis Wrestling, the gun show. Boom, and a huge 450 splash from the chosen one, Zay Washington, and we're not even halfway done. I tell you, this is gonna be an action-packed, adrenaline-filled thrill ride of a show. That 450 splash, I think, set the tone for the rest of the matches here today. If you're a competitor on today's program, you were paying attention to what just happened in the squared circle. We do have a huge main event here today with main event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil going against Jay Webb, and I think he might have a tag team partner, but then also, we saw Derek King and Ray Ray Sanders have a moment last week right here on Memphis Wrestling, and they're back and gonna be in action today. Check this out. That looks like snow. All right, dude, we got Steel Cross today. You ready? I am ready, I'm beyond ready. But let me oh, tell you yeah. something, look, it's been, it's been weeks, but I'm happy to be back. Look, I am fired up, sitting on ready. I am, I am. <laughs> I got paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what's so funny? <laughs> you act like you the tag team champions or something. What you, what you stepping hey, up for, hey, little hey, man? Hey, hold on, hold on. Listen, Ray Ray, don't worry. We got bigger things to worry about other than these two. Come on, Chuck. And number two, suckers. <laughs> Sell out. Cows. Get out of our face. 
Welcome back to the broadcast position, and you saw the LA Hustlers laughing and making fun of Derrick King and Ray Ray Sanders, and I don't know if that's a very good thing to do if I'm the LA Hustlers. You know what, actually, I, I think it's a smart maneuver by the LA Hustlers in terms of trying to sow maybe some potential division between Ray Ray questioning, like, my trainer, my teacher, my, my idol, my mentor, was this on purpose? Speaking of friends and mentors and all the mix, we have a situation going on in the women's division with Mackenzie Morgan, the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, and Cassandra Golden. And we saw Cassandra last week. And up next, Mackenzie Morgan is in action for the first time since Super Bowl Three. Terrence, I can't wait. Fans, stay with us. MKC is up next. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. returns to Memphis Wrestling. Meet Buff Daddy at our VIP experience and reserve your seat today at memphiswrestling.tv. Sportsmanship, you gotta love it. Best friends competing at the highest level for the championship. And wait a Oh my second. God, wait a minute. Cassandra Golden just... What is she doing? Cassandra with a short arm clothesline and now since MKC into the corner I can't believe it big hip attack enough is enough what is this about what in the hell and again Cassandra has lost her mind you gotta be kidding me here what is she doing Cassandra Poor Spork now hooks the golden rings on, a, on what's supposed to be her friend. Ring that bell, Terrence. This is absolutely awful. Cassandra Golden has lost her mind. Um, um, I'm, I'm probably going to need some help uh, mentally after this one. It, it's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just upset. I don't even want to look in the mirror. Welcome back to ringside. We saw Mackenzie Morgan literally crying at what you did. Do you not have any remorse? Not at all. I'm tired of babysitting. I come here every time and I babysit these girls. It, it's, it's over. I am the golden one for a reason. You people must have forgot. I am the golden one, Cassandra Golden. I deserve gold around my waist. Cassandra Golden seems to be money hungry, or should I say hungry for championship gold. Whether she has to knock her friend down to get it or not. The following contest is a non-title bout, set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making your way to the ring, Just Jody. Our first look at Just Jody. Is it what you call the application, Just Jody? Well, it's Just Jody, what, what's your name? It's Just Jody. That's her name, Terrence. It's Just Jody. What is this? Who on first? That's what I said. Just Jody is in singles competition. Coming up next. And introducing next to the opponent. She is the reigning Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion from the G G G Grand City. Sorry. M A Z. Mackenzie. 
Morgan! MKZ is here in the house at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center coming to you from the Grind City Terrace. Sounds like a t-shirt in the making. MKZ one-on-one -on -one in a non-title match against Just Jody. It's our first look at Just Jody here on Memphis Wrestling and it's a bad time perhaps to be standing across the ring from the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion, Mackenzie Morgan. I don't know. I don't think it's a bad time. I think it's a great time for just Jody because think about this. If she yeah. wins against Mackenzie Morgan here today, that pretty much guarantees unofficially the chance for her to get a title opportunity. Right. Championship contender match happening right now. And then also more to your point, MKZ might not be 100% focused on just Jody, especially after what Cassandra Golden had to say last week. We've seen tears from MKZ. Even in a victory at Super Bout, it still broke her heart for her former best friend to attack her after the bell. Yeah, this is the second time to be, to be pretty much backstabbed by a friend. Cassandra Golden was the person she was closest to. Through the thick of it all, that's who she was close to. Big shoulder tackle, a one count from debt referee David Knight. MKZ versus Just Jody, non-title match, but again, it is a championship contenders Ooh. match. If Just Jody wants an opportunity, all she has to do is beat the champ. Good. One count right there, MKZ not ready yet. One count or not, for those of you watching, unfamiliar with the sport of wrestling, that Ooh. took some energy for McKenzie to kick out, even though it was a one count. That's energy expelled that she can't get back, and Jody was quick to get that cover. Buckle cool. hit to buckle, but now MKZ with a counter and a backbreaker, and then Ooh. plants just Jody face first. Well, that canvas is very unforgiving. Look at this, Mackenzie Morgan, all in your living room. Well, there's that rope break you can see on the right hand side of your screen. Thank goodness, because MKZ might have pulled just Jody's head off. Well, I mean, give credit to Mackenzie Morgan, a little bit of credit here. She is, she's professional enough and was trained by the right folks to know that we don't play the game that way, or she doesn't play the game that way. Seated drop kick, or a basement drop kick, whichever you prefer. Here comes Just Jody to do it again. Uh -oh. oh, big belly to belly suplex, and down goes Just Jody. MKZ is fired up, and that is it. Mackenzie Morgan is the victor. Here is your winner, Mackenzie Morgan. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay. Brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. Sunday, April 21st, Buff Daddy returns to Memphis Wrestling. Get your tickets right now at memphiswrestling.tv. That's right, Dark Side of the Ring superstar Buff Bagwell is here. Sunday, April 21st, MemphisWrestling.tv, and I have to catch up with Mackenzie Morgan as soon as she finishes showing love to one of the cutest little MKZ fans in the Wrestle Center. And I remind you once again, join us live on Sunday, April 21st, and see MKZ in action live. If I could get a quick word from you, I know that all the fans worldwide and every person inside the Wrestle Center wants to hear from you. I see that you're trying to have a smile on your face. You're trying to compete 100%, but Morgan, it looks like there's something on your mind and there's definitely an elephant in the room. How you feeling, Morgan? Memphis Wrestling fans, I love you all. And they love you back. Without you, I am nothing but destiny. I never asked to be the face of Memphis wrestling. I never asked to be the face of the women's division. I never asked. I never asked. Her. Wait just a second, Mackenzie Morgan. We have an intruder, and her name. Cassandra Golden. Now, Cassandra, you had your time last week, and right now is Mackenzie Morgan's time. I don't, I don't, I know you may not know this or not, Justin, but, but every time I'm at Memphis Wrestling, it is my time. And you know, I've been watching. You look like you've been struggling a bit. You've been crying, you've been yelling. Does it seem like you can handle it?
All right, we've got security out here. We do not need any physicality security. Come on. We've got Mackenzie Morgan and Cassandra Golden face to face. Fans, more Memphis wrestling on the other side. Stay with us. The new $1.99 Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps are here for a limited time in bold flavors like Hickory Barbecue or Cheesy Baja. Give yourself some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's HWWE WrestleMania. Join us, it's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Friday, May 3rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to West Carroll for a huge fundraiser benefiting the West Carroll Touchdown Club. Save $2 off advanced tickets at memphiswrestling.tv. I just watched the match. Look, I know if I've, I've heard it in the internet. It's been all over Facebook. It's been everywhere, all the dirt sheets, everything. Everybody's just saying, Derek King's going to turn on you. I want you to know something. I'm not turning on you. That ain't going to happen. I want to apologize to you for what happened. I did not mean to super kick you. You know this more than anybody. I did not mean to super kick you. It was my fault we lost the titles. Not yours, mine. I want you to understand this again. I want to stress this to you. I'm sorry. I apologize. Everything happened. I, I really, I really am sorry. You know this. You're like my brother for real. So please understand. Accept my apology. I believe you, Derek. There you go. All right. They go to work. Oh wait, a minute. work. Motivated by and it's for the team. It's their opponent. It is this team of the fifth Ray Ray Tender and Derek. Stop! Break it in great! Team! Tag Team Action! Coming your way! The former Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champion, Derek King and Zay Ray Sanders, squaring off against Steel Cross. And Steel Cross has been extremely successful since debuting here on Memphis Wrestling, and they get better by the week, but they better bring their best this week because they're going against those former tag champs in Ray Ray and DK. Match now officially underway. Derek King starting out with Alex Cross. You can see Steel Cross all across the Mid-South, including right here on Memphis Wrestling. And of course, Derek King is a legend of Memphis Wrestling, also the gift. Ray Ray Sanders was trained by Derek King right here at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. Went on to capture the tag team titles. Came up a little bit short with a misfire at Super Bout, but that's all behind them now. But what's going on with the, the LA Hustlers? I don't know. I, but the, well, I say I don't know. It's like I, you know, headed towards earlier in the program. Okay, big hip toss. Sowing a little bit of trying to sow some seeds of division. Speaking of dividing and conquering, Derek King. Off to a good start. Couple of hip toss for both members of Steel Cross. And I got to I got to shout out Derek here though. Since his return from that medical leave, he has looked better than ever since returning. And and you got to say you got to give credit to to Ray Ray Sanders as well, who is looking better himself physically, looking very very sharp. I don't know of a time where we ever seen DK in better shape than he is right now. And from the top rope, Ray Ray Sanders doing what he does best. Great tag team continuity from DK and Ray Ray. Now sharp body, sharp mind, makes for a good tag team. What's going on here? A good athlete. A little cat and mouse. Oh, wait a Ray minute. Ray Ray, back in the ring the hard way. Here he comes. Misdirection, springboard Ooh. kick. 
from the gift, Ray Ray Sanders. Cradles him up for the cover, and it looks like he got a one count. We say it every time there's a tag team match. This is some sort of contendership match. You always want to be on the winning end here at Memphis Wrestling. What in the world is this? Nice, slick move from Ray Ray Sanders. Is that a half crab? Is that what that is? It is. A roll through into a half crab, and Ray Ray Sanders has spent some time in the New Japan Ooh. Pro Wrestling Dojo out in California. Yeah, if you've been following him on social, shout out to Fred to Rosser out there, the trainer, as Ray Ray looking good. Ethan Steele being elusive. Big power slam. Down goes Ray Ray. Two count. Steel Cross nearly picked up the victory. Yeah, Fred Ross, sir, a former competitor in WWE, but also here in Memphis Wrestling. The height oh my on God. that elbow drop from Alex Cross. He was trying to nail two count. Ray Ray Sanders. Fall. Ooh, excuse me. Near no. fall for Steel Cross. Could you imagine Steel Cross pulling off what I think would be an upset? here on Memphis Wrestling. Uh, you know, it, it it could happen. We've seen them quietly fly under the radar in, in the last couple of episodes. Line. Both men go down, desperately need to make a tag. Who's gonna get there first? Ray Ray Sanders is still not moving. Has it moved an inch, now finally stirring a little bit. Ethan Steele as well, both laying prone on the Munford Pharmacy logo. Big shout out to Mr. Mural out there. Ethan Steele catches the leg. Big Enziguri, and there's the tag. Here Wait a now, minute. Hold on a second. The LA Hustlers are here. DK Factor in the center of the ring, but the Hustlers are here, and we saw that take place earlier today. There's some sort of tension here. That's rough shot on the right and Notorious Bradley on the left of your screen. I think they smell an opportunity is what they're, what they're, they're like shark circling blood. DK and Ray Ray better watch out because now they're glommed from behind and Steel Cross has the advantage. Inside the ring here. Oh, sunset flip. Super kick! And that is it! Here are your winners. Ray Ray Sanders and Derek DK and Ray Ray victorious. No thanks to the LA Hustlers. Fans, we're up against the clock. We still have a huge main event coming your way, and the internet champion is up next. Yeah, hey, Michael. You. Uh, what's this about a? Uh, tag team match and a mystery partner for J-Webb? Well, first off, I miss you guys at the family reunion this year. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you did, but let me tell you, there's a reason we wasn't there. That's right. And I want to know who J-Webb's tag team partner is. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you. It's a mystery. Oh, you can tell me. You're the general manager of wrestling operations or whatever. You can tell me for real. Hang on. Nope. Michael, I'm not afraid of you, and I'm not playing your games. Tell me who J-Webb's tag team partner is. I will write both of you up and have you in HR so fast. Hey, Mike, let's go. We got better things to do. Better things. Better oh. things to do. Who's the mystery partner? How are we supposed to prep for this if you won't tell us who our opponent is? Join us for Memphis Wrestling Live next Saturday and Sunday, April 6th and 7th. Watch WWE WrestleMania at Dave & Buster's with us. It's free. Saturday, April 20th, Memphis Wrestling is coming to Little Rock for the Arkansas Travelers Wrestling Night featuring Kay Toomer, The Gun Show, and more. Sunday, April 21st, Buff Bagwell returns to Memphis Wrestling. Then head over to Dave & Buster's for AEW Dynasty. It's free to watch. Friday, May 3rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to West Carroll for a huge fundraiser, benefiting the West Carroll Touchdown Club. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. Join me, BT, every Saturday after Memphis Wrestling for Rolling Into Mempho Podcast.
welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and we crowned another new champion at Super Bowl Three, and he's joining me right now, accompanied to the ring with Justin Case. It's the brand new Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, the problem child, Aaron Roberts. Justin, watch out, get in control of your man here, Justin. Congratulations on defeating Tim Bosby for the Memphis Wrestling Internet Championship. I just saw the little video you played of the boss lifting his weights, working out in the gym. That was not a smart thing to do because now you've caused Molly Hard on Denzel Rollins. You wasted time on the boss when you should have been talking about your new internet champion, Aaron Roberts. Now we're gonna end, I'm gonna leave you with this. Aaron Roberts is better than the best. Well, he's about to prove it again right here because he is in action next. Got to stare down in the center of the ring. Referee says ring the bell. That's referee Ron Justice and Denzel going after the knees of the 420 Whoa. pounder. Ooh, did you see that? I did. Luckily, Denzel was able to hang on or he might have been at Memphis International Airport. He got so high. I don't think anybody would complain about that. Denzel here on the top rope against the problem child. Oh! Big missile drop kick sends Lord. the big man down and Denzel Rollins is feeling it. Yeah, he can fight that hard if he wants to. It's a non-title bout. But Wait a second, nobody's safe on the floor. Denzel is caught. High risk. Choke slam on the edge of the ring apron and Denzel has a big problem on his hands. High price. Denzel Rollins paying for what he thought was going to be a high reward. Aaron Roberts coming out of Super Bowl III, the new Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion. Momentum definitely on his side right here, right now. And Justin Case did not take too kindly at the fact that we showed a clip of Tim Bosby. And also, you got to be on the lookout for Austin Lane, who stepped in front of Aaron Roberts at Super Bout. Haven't seen or heard anything from Austin Lane since then. Well, and I, I like I mentioned at Super Bout, just a recap, oh man, God. that strength of Aaron Roberts. Big main as, power. As I mentioned at Super Bout, I'll say it again, Dustin. I don't think Austin's in it because it's Tim Bosby. I think he's in it to protect what he sees as a title that he's carried, his legacy as well. Lots of respect, lots of prestige in that championship belt that Aaron Roberts disrespected. Yeah, which we still bear the scars here at ringside. Also the boss has to be looking on somewhere. Hoping for a rematch opportunity against Aaron Roberts. But you know, Dustin, I gotta be honest with you. I think this is just a stepping stone for the problem child, Aaron Roberts. I don't think that this is where he permanently wants to be. We've seen the tenacity, we've seen the drive from Aaron Roberts leading up to this very moment today. And I credit a lot of that to Justin Case. Absolutely, there are bigger goals on the mind of Aaron Roberts, who is a multiple time tag team champion. Ooh. And now, oh my gosh. Look at Denzel getting fired up. Yeah, that turned on the switch for sure. Now Aaron Roberts, a singles champion here in Memphis Wrestling. Denzel is here to fight. Look at this. Exchanging forearms back and forth. These two guys are trying to anticipate each other's forearms. Nice block from Denzel. Now he has the upper hand. Aaron Roberts seems a little bit staggered. Oh, oh. God in heaven. Did you hear that? Referee Ron Justice needs to check on Denzel right here, right now. And that is it. The problem child, victorious. Here is your winner, the problem child, Aaron Roberts. Let's take a look back at the instant replay. Oh, no, wait, don't, don't do anything. Don't go anywhere yet, because now Aaron Roberts, the problem child, the internet champion, has Denzel Rollins in a bad spot. And it looks like 
We're going to get a problem bomb. He just said, where are you at, best of the best? Calling out Austin Lane before absolutely crushing Denzel Rollins. Aaron Roberts is showing that locker room. He is showing the world that he is the champion. He is the man. They're Aaron, the title. Aaron Roberts, the problem child, still the Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion and more dominant than ever. Huge main event coming up next. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is WWE WrestleMania. Join us, it's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. returns to Memphis Wrestling. Meet Buff Daddy at our VIP experience and reserve your seat today at memphiswrestling.tv. Friday, May 3rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to West Carroll for a huge fundraiser benefiting the West Carroll Touchdown Club. Save $2 off advance tickets at memphiswrestling.tv. We just gotta go hard. Uh. precious commodity is time and in the year 2023 time was ripped away from us time was stolen from the career of Maurice the Strong time was apprehended from the circus when we were forced to shut down our big top but in the year 2024, time is indeed on our side. Yes, it is. For everything that was stolen from us shall be regained and more. So much more. Because in one week's time, time is rapidly running out for you. <laughs> The following contest is our main event, scheduled for one fall with a TV time remaining time limit. Introducing first, it is a team of Big Nasty Phil and May Event Bradley. Sorry, that intro kind of threw me off a little bit. The smell here at the desk. It is main event time here on Memphis Wrestling Ooh. and main event Bradley back in the main event and Big Nasty Phil against Jay Webb. But who's his partner going to be? And introducing next, Jay Webb. Jay Webb is here for the tag team main event, but it does not appear that he has a tag team partner. Unless it's that Barry holding or that dog or whatever that is. That is a good point. It could be the bear, or maybe he's just going to fight two on one. What? Main event Bradley is coming over here to the desk. What? He's urging. The match. Main event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil. It's a tag team main event. What are you guys doing? You just said it, Dustin. It's a tag team main event. And it looks like my man Jay Webb is sitting there by himself because nobody in that locker room likes him and nobody is coming to tag with him. Not one single person is coming to have your back. So me and Big Nasty are about to do some damage. Like it's gonna be two on one. Wait a second. What is that music? I recognize that music, Dustin. Oh my goodness! 
It's the Murder Hulk Monster! It's Archer! He's back! It looks like Jay Webb does have a tag team partner! Everybody dies! Not again! Not again. <laughs> Fast enough! Listen, main event Bradley says not again. I think he's got a case of PTSD. The Murder Hawk Monster. AEW Superstar. Did he just fist bump Jay Webb? Lance Archer just fist bumped Jay Webb here on Memphis Wrestling, and we have a tag team main event. What? Somehow, some way, Archer says, let's go. He is ready for a fight, and anytime Lance Archer is here at the Wrestle Center, everybody dies. Jay Webb gets the tag. Referee David Knight says, ring the bell, and we are officially underway. Now, you would have to think that the strategy here is for main event Bradley to never, ever allow Jay Webb to tag out. Oh, that's exactly right. That, 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 that would be my strategy. Off. Or if he does, make it to my corner to get Big Nasty Phil in there. And another one from Jay Webb. Well, if you want to take a look back at the other times, big backdrop from Jay Webb, and he is on fire. Murder at the other Hulk. times that Lance Archer's been here, Dustin, it's archives, Memphis Wrestling on YouTube. Right in the gut. Check it out, youtube.com slash at Memphis Wrestling, and it looks like Jay Webb's going to be in a little trouble, and it seems to be two on Ooh. one. In the wrong neck of the woods is Jay Webb. We can't discount Jay Webb just yet. We saw him take on the genetic nightmare oh, Mike heck Anthony. Of a match too, and right? And a straight jacket for a good portion of the beginning of it that too. That is a big mistake. But Lance Archer holding back the reins oh, and he, not going through David Knight. David Knight's lucky that Lance Archer didn't run right through him. But now it's two on one. Nice tag team continuity here from Main Event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil. And one would have to assume that Jay Webb and Lance Archer have never tagged together ever. Well, that's a good point. Or have they? These guys might be family members for all we know. Oh, Jesus. Big Nasty Phil in control. Big elbow sends Jay Webb hard to the mat. Nice splash by main event Bradley. Two count, that's a near fall. Could you imagine Jay Webb getting pinned? before the Murder Hawk monster ever hits the ring. I, well, at that point, I'd be scared to. I would like to drag this out as long as I could, just for the simple fact that I know if I pin Jay Webb, there's out. nothing keeping Murder Hawk monster Lance Archer in the corner and abiding by the rules. I think main event Bradley and Big Nasty Phil love the guys or hate them. Jaw breaker. Need to keep in mind that Lance Archer has went against some of the top contenders in the world in pro wrestling, had numerous title opportunities for world championships across the globe himself. Meat, 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 meat. We want the meat, Terrence. There's a restaurant oh, around the world. Almost oh, made the tag, minute. but a clothesline from Jay Webb. Here we go. Jay Webb needs I to never, make that tag, and he does. I never thought I'd see people cheering for Jay Webb. Oh, gosh. Are you, it's a choke slam? Uh, Bradley. From main event Bradley? Bradley. I don't think so. Knockout punch from the Murder Hawk Monster. The Hawks education not paying off there. <laughs> Call it what you will, but main event Bradley. What's that? No luck, and that suplex just slings oh, Bradley across God. the ring. Big boot. Just relax, sit back and enjoy this. Just, just sit back and enjoy Wait this. No second. commentary needed. Chokeslam, DDT oh. combo, stacks them up. David Bradley is still the legal man here as he kicks Big Nasty Phil to the side. Oh, boy. Archer, full head of steam. Oh, wait a minute. Bradley fighting back. There. Oh, the agility of Lance Archer. There's the tag. Cannot be overlooked. And you wouldn't think a man that big. Oh, my God. It's a Mullen drop from Jay Webb. What in the hell is next? Everybody dies! Pins them both. And that is it. Here are your winners. The Murder Hawk Monster, Lance Archer, and Jay Webb.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're all out of time, but there are your winners. Jay Webb and the Murder Hulk monster, Lance Archer. I am Dustin Starr. He's Terrence Ward saying so long, everybody.